loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive. It is so bittersweet to be able to come here today to shuffle and pull for you one more time for the last time for 2020. If you are an old friend and subscriber to the YouTube channel, you guys know and knew that I was talking about 2020 being a game changing year. And we're also going to see that in 2021, the energy is still unfolding, revealing, and um, I don't want to say groundbreaking, but building up from where the ground was broken, if that makes any sense. So if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I really want to invite you to do that because I'm going to continue to pump out and share my predictions as we move forward into the year and give you clarity and guidance and insight inspiration, empowerment, um, as you carry on through 2021. There's no need to have fear. There's no need to feel lost. There's no need to lose hope. There's no need to be uninspired or feel like you're in a space of lack or not creative, um, especially in a time that is so challenging. And my gift and my intention to you and for you is to make sure that all those things that I named above that I just said are yours and that you are able to take these challenging moments and make them your own. I do this by my intuitive visions. I do this by my astrological pulls. For those of you guys that don't know, I've dedicated the majority of my life to the study of astrology and I'll continue to do that. Not only will I continue to share videos with you on this platform on YouTube and on my Instagram account account at Bahati Life, but I'm also in the final stages at this time at, while I'm filming of finishing writing my second book. In this case, it's going to be an ebook, which is going to be the full astrological and intuitive comprehensive guide to 2021. So if you guys would like to, you can go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter on BahatiLife.com so that you can have full access to that when it is available, which should be, it looks like in early 2021 in January. So I'm almost done, I'm like halfway there, but you guys know I don't want to rush the process. I will be breaking down every single week of 2021, so that's a lot to, to dive into. Again, my astrological chart pullings and also my intuitive visions and predictions to help you prep and plan. Also, moon phases, astro astrology guides to help you better understand astrology, something that you guys have been needing and wanting for so long, but you guys know I'm thorough, so I wanted to give it to you good. And then also, um, full and new moon phases and cycles to help you to prep, plan, to set intention and ritual. In the meantime, I really felt called to sit here to shuffle for you one more time, messages for your heart that you need to hear as we're closing out 2020. There is a feeling that I have that spirit wants to give one last message to us to help explain, you know, your journey, like why 2020 looked the way that it did, the overarching message. Of course, these are very specific messages for a general audience. So allow yourself to be guided to the crystals that are here for you. We have the crystal quartz, the two pointed crystal quartz. We also have the opalite egg which is stunning in real life, but you can't tell because I'm working with my MacBook camera this afternoon because it was just faster and easier for me to film. And then the last one, which is this um, mantra crystal, that's what I'm gonna call it, and it says light. So that being said, you can find the timestamps down below as well as links to the page for where the ebook will be available. And um, I'm so excited. Go ahead and you know share for your friends who love astrology, love um, intuition, love predictions, and those types of things. You can send those links out to your friends, or you can follow me on Instagram um, before the book you know is released. All right, I'll meet you guys at your timestamps. Okay, my love. So if you chose the quartz crystal, this is your reading. So right away. I actually feel really called to work with this deck to give you a breakdown on what 2020's overarching message or what spirit wants to give you one last time for 2020. <clears throat> okay, so your first cards that jumped forward are the card of marriage. Wow, the mature man, 
the male and main male. So for those of you guys that chose this card, okay, we have concern and we have mature woman. If you guys hear any noise in the background, I am running a load of um, dishes in the background. So let me show you this. We have marriage, we have main male, and we have mature man, we have mature woman, and we have the card of concern. And what you can't see is at the very base of this deck, we have the card of thoughts. Now, I don't know if you knew this when you picked this crystal, but this is the two-pointed quartz. One of the reasons why I chose this quartz is because it is powerful for pulling in soulmates, pulling in your partner, your twin flame, um, and helping to cement or have gain clarity into your intimate relationships. And obviously, as I'm looking at these cards, you have a very strong tie to masculine energy here. You have two males that are showing up. We have main male, we have mature male, and then we also have the card of concern, which is a male, and the card of marriage. So this pile is very thought, like thinking about relationships. It's thinking about connections. It's thinking about union. If this is not actual marriage partner or relationship partner or business partner, then this is the merging, you know, a marriage with spirit or the marriage with um, a project or something. The one thing that is standing out to me is the hidden, the hands being hidden. I don't know why that's standing out to me. Um, I really just kind of follow my intuition when I'm working with these cards. But to me, this is showing that not, something is not com being completely revealed. Something is being withheld from you. At the same time, I feel like what is being withheld from you is also triggering things that you are withholding within yourself. Wow. So you, I don't know if in 2020 your thoughts have been in wanting more for yourself, wanting to grip on to, um, I'm hearing like foster and harbor, meaning building and, and budding, you know, these developments and relationships, wanting to share a lot, wanting to give a lot, wanting confirmation of that. But you've been finding almost like a desert, almost like emptiness, almost, it, and then I'm hearing the word ache. I'm feeling how your, your energy has almost been aching for more, for wanting more for yourself. But spirit is calling me to tell you that what you are feeling like is being withheld from you, you are withholding from yourself. And the reason why I'm being called to revisit the word ache, it's very clear to me. So the reason why you had to sit in that ache and that emptiness feeling, that feeling of drought, feeling of lack, is because you have to be uncomfortable enough to be challenged to open up in a way that makes you very vulnerable, in a way that makes you have to rely on something other than yourself. There is a space of self-reliance, especially as I'm looking at this mature woman, or woman through your experiences they have almost it's almost is giving me queen of swords type vibes even though i haven't even pulled the cards for you yet in your experiences you have been told or there is a generational um intelligence is what's coming through so an, a knowledge um that you should be self-fulfilling you should be self-sustaining but spirit is is really calling you to feel emptiness to feel avoid to feel the to be so uncomfortable in your you in your island that you find out for yourself that I, you do not want to be isolated anymore so you then are forced to open your heart to connect and to ask for help and to call it in and for you also to prepare for what that would even look like when you have to share when you can't be as selfish as you would want to be and some of you guys don't even realize that in relationships you're almost expecting a lot to pull from someone you expect them to do this for you to do that for you to show up in this way if he loved me then he would do this or if she loved me then she would be permissible with me in this way and spirit is saying that that is not fair when you enter into any type of union 
whether it be with a relationship, a business partner, with the divine, with, a, you know, whatever, there is a certain level of compromise that you need to be ready to give up and that you need to be ready to be open towards. It cannot be your way or the highway. Or you need to at least be open to asking for help. You need to be open to not only giving but receiving, to not only receiving but giving. Are you ready for that? And if you are not, then you are not going to have the hands free to receive it, to give, to touch, to be in, in as available as you would want to be. Wow. So the world card just came through. Do you notice how she's holding the whole world in her hands? The world card is about completion and cycles, right? So this could be the ending of a cycle, but more than that, I'm feeling the responsibility, the weight of the intention that you have set for yourself when it comes to inviting in this abundance in, re in a relationship, in union and building it. When you are in a space that is prosperous, that is gift, that is a gift, it benefits the entire world, but it is a heavy responsibility, heavy burden that you're gonna have to hold on to. Are you ready for that? Next card, Eight of Pentacles, you guys. Some of you guys are so used to and accustomed and acclimated to doing things all on your own, but do you see how her hands are the hyper-focus in this card? Because she is has something to give. She also has something to receive because the community is working with her. Everyone is working with her, including this little frog who's holding his own little basket of goodies that he can contribute to the world. Are you willing to invite in the energy of help and support? I'm also, I just heard the word navigate. So there are some people whose gifts and their own abundance and plentifulness, their energy of plenty is going to help you to navigate your relationship in order to navigate as you move forward in your life. It's better to do it together in a marriage, in a union with support, when what I, and I also just heard what what God brings together, let no man break. So there needs to be a blessing when it comes to that. Look, and now I'm saying that I see what he is holding on to for the first time. Now I'm seeing his hand. He's holding on to his wife. He knows that his energy is to protect her. He knows that his energy is to make sure that she is solid and the the, the benefit and the blessing that she gives to his life and vice versa. So. You know, are you open and willing to receive that? The tower card. So 2020 was really about you having to observe and be in thought in the areas of your life where is that available to you? Does that, it's one, that's the thing too, I'm being called to go back to the world card. Spirit is saying that people, relationships, things are more than just their potential. Potential is something that they are not yet. They could be but they have to do a lot in order to gain, in order to get there. I just heard maintain order. I don't know what that means, but some, it almost sounds like to me that there are some people who are, I just heard the word fulfilling, fulfilling like lessons within their lives that may not make sense to you, but they are maintaining their sense of order right now because that's where they're at in their life. So if their potential looks like one thing, it's not your expectation that's going to change them. It's their, their, their fulfilling a lesson within their life on their own divine timing, on their own divine cycle. So they might not show up for you in the way that you expect them to, but they were never, they were never called to do that. They were never obligated to do that. Spirit has them on a different path, a different journey, and it is not your, it's not your place or your position to interrupt that process. In fact, spirit will make sure that you don't interrupt their process of healing, of growth, of business development, or whatever the case is. Meanwhile, you have made that your concern. You have made that almost a distraction, but meanwhile, you are using that to avoid yourself from seeing the inner, an internal conflict within yourself. Are you even remotely close and open to giving and receiving, so it's really this balance that is I'm seeing. Are you even remotely close and open and available to stepping up to the plate in the way that is selfless? This does not mean that you become a martyr in your relationships and that you expect less from yourself or you settle for less for yourself and for the name of love um, or in the name of love. It's about respecting and choosing people who, who spirit is ordained for your life. Some of you guys, this union is relationships that you're in right now that have completed, the cycle has completed itself and you have, you have understood in 2020 
that this person is only soul potential, that they may not muster up the strength to surmount to. Like they may never meet this expectation of potential, you know, that this expectation that you have for them or that you see for them in the relationship and you are deciding, okay, this is concerning. Others of you, your partner is someone who has passed on. And I know that that's a very specific message, but with the tower card, I feel as though it's someone who has passed on abruptly and you are learning how to preserve and protect the relationship despite the distance that you feel between between you. And that's the thing is that people who pass on, they their energy sometimes they're here with us, but they're, they feel sometimes they feel so far away. And it's the expectation, the hurt of I wish that they were here, like why God, like why? And Divine says like it's not your expectation of what it could have been. It's what I wanted it to be. It's the fact that they were here to serve their purpose, to bring light, to bring love in the way that they did, to be a, cont a contributing factor to something, to the world. And then they were removed to move on to the next cycle. And it's not your, this feels very heavy and sad for me. Someone's gonna really feel this. And I feel it in my gut because it, it hurts. Um, but Spirit is really saying that these people, they still are holding on to you. Like they still are there, they're still present, but just not in the way of potential that you would want them to. And Knight of Wands, as soon as I saw this card, I just got chills. This is confirmation that they are truly stepping forward in protection and awe and honor of you. One more card. Okay, Knight of Swords, King of Swords. I knew the Swords was gonna show up in the Strength card. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, yeah. Um, I want to focus be, with that, you guys, I want to look at, I want to work with the lover or the flower therapy and then the romance angels card, because obviously you guys have such a strong connection to the other. Some of you guys, it, it might be, um, you know, your twin flame or your partner. There's this feeling of disconnect or separation. So you have this potential or this feeling of you know, we could be together. It could look this way. And Spirit is saying like, oh my God, look, patience. Your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. Um, some of you guys are having this feeling that it could look this way or it should look this way. And Spirit is really saying like 2020 is the year of you respecting the journey and respecting the process look i i'm getting peer pressure and i just feel like this is the pressure that you put on yourself or put on others in order to change in order to complete in order to move things forward and spirit says this is the year of you not focusing on that in fact i'm seeing um a, a hyper focus on your own self-worth and self-value i feel as though you feel as though this relationship or this thing or this union would help to define your purpose, your value, your worth, and that's simply not the case. I'm definitely getting that with financial healing. This comes from a root chakra place and also self-worth, self-value, and what you're able to create in spirit depth. Oh my God, you are healed. Love that. So there's this space that 2020 was given to you in order to heal that, that expectation within yourself, that pressure that you put on yourself in order to push something forward, in order to force it in. Why, why, why? And, and spirit is really saying that, you know, it's not your expectation. You can set intention by all means, but at the end of the day, we are going to give to you and serve to you in a way that is for your highest and greatest good and the highest and greatest good of all mankind. And that includes and factors in your happiness, your greatest happiness, not just, oh, you have to compromise here and you are going to be not fulfilled. No, everyone truly will get fulfilled if they're following their heart. Wow. Release your ex. So it's the feeling of releasing these expectations, the feeling of releasing these blockages, these blockages, lock, lock, things that are locked up within you that you're having a hard time, that you you might not even, and that's the thing that's standing out to me is the full moon in the background. There are certain aspects within yourself in 2020 that you needed to observe and to see and to feel through the discomfort, through the suffering, through the struggle. She is 
really suffering here. She needed to see it and feel it in order to be challenged enough. It needed to be triggered so that she knew that there was a wound there, a space there. And then it opened up the door for healing so that you could, oh my gosh, second wedding card. All of this truly is about taking things to the next level. Um, if you were not married in 2020 or if the marriage was not a hyper focus in 2020, it definitely became that. Retreat, in the energy of being retreating, I know that in 2020, a lot of us were, all of us, the entire world was in quarantine, in self-isolation to protect the people that it is that we love um, and ourselves. And we were retreating, but in that, you were there, you were there to feel the emptiness, to feel the isolation so that you could then be like, you know what? I am ready to share in a way that is almost, you know, is very selfless because in the right, with the right person, in the right marriage, then it would be the best thing. And literally you just needed to know in here that it's safe for you to love now, honeymoon. So there is bliss and um, beauty on the way for you. I feel like you guys need to hear confirmation about the marriage or about the relationship. I, and again, you know, this is a very specific message for a general audience. So, and I'm not pulling your chart or your card specifically. You know, this is shared time. So I can't give you, some of you guys, I knew this card was gonna jump out, hubba hubba. It says, you know that dreamy look of deep soulful love you've sometimes seen in the eyes of another as they gazed into your own, expect a lot more of it. Ooh, the universe. So this is the universe saying, look, you might not know now, but you will. Think of someone, it says, think of someone very special to you. Now feel yourself bursting with love for them. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak that in them in that love. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak yourself in my love. Now feel it always. This is bringing me to law of attraction and vision boarding. There is a relationship that you, and also you guys pick the card or the crystal, twin flame, soulmates, and union. So whether you know it or not. So this is about what impacts them impacts you. If you are healed and you are healing, they are healed and they are healing. In fact, one of the cards that you pulled is you are healed. So even though it felt like a disaster, even though it felt painful as all hell in 2020, it was there for deep connection to be created. And I just heard it can't be bought. Love, deep connection, and a, a healthy marriage and healthy commitment and union cannot be bought, it cannot be convinced, it cannot be bribed. It's something that is or it isn't. And when you start to see that that's not something that is happening or it's not, hasn't happened yet, or you're struggling with it, it creates great concern. But you are meant to learn how to love fully. In fact, as I'm looking at this, love is never in vain. So you're meant to love fully without remorse, without holding back, without, you know, wow, they chose you. Look, I want you to read that, hear this. You might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit. But there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing that you would be there. Now that's what I call a reputation. Big hug, the universe. So there are people that are divine or your partner is divinely placed here in the sole purpose of fulfilling life and having life by your side. Let that settle in. Really let that settle in. I just heard the word remote. So some of you guys feel like it's very far away from you, but the reality is is that like how you use a remote control car, it your vibration and your energy, it's a wireless connection. If you call the shots and if you set intention and you drench yourself in love and drench them in love, they will come coming, they will come racing to you. Like a remote control car is what's coming to me. Like what I'm the vision that is that I'm getting. Look, replenish. Rain, time to replenish. Signs and visions, you're seeing signs all the time. The one thing that just came through is 1111 222 333. Growth and abundance, things are growing here. And I, I just heard the word gratitude. Gratitude for 2020 for having you feel what you felt in order to help you to observe what you saw so that you can receive what you have been seeing, what you have been feeling. Does that make any sense? So that's what came through, you guys. It's a very, very powerful message. Um, your energy is radiating far, far, far wide. There's no such thing as time or distance. 
when it comes to love, when it comes to intention, when it comes to vibration. Whatever it is that you put out there, you will receive. I hope this message makes sense. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I will be, again, releasing um, my comprehensive uh, astrology and intuitive guide for 2021 for all zodiac signs. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It is an ebook, a download, and it's going to be very, very thorough. So you can look out for that. I do need a little bit of um, quiet and patience and focus so that I can finish diving into it, especially in the time that is that I want to get it done. Until then, I will see you in my next video. All right, my love. For those of you that chose the opalite egg, this is your intuitive message. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this, but just like group number one or pile number one, I'm going to do this for you. What is it that your heart needs to hear? What does spirit want you to hear? One last message for 2020 to help heal or to help bring clarity and insight into what you need to hear now before we move forward into 2021. Okay, wow. I was, for a second, I was thinking like, you know, maybe this wouldn't happen, like these cards wouldn't. Okay, we have child, imprisonment. Here's the child card for those of you guys that need to see it. Um, the number 18 is breaking down into the number nine for me. That's really something that's standing out. It's the energy of number nine, the, the, the number of unpacking. If you're part of my Sacred Circle Tarot School, you've heard me say that multiple times where number nine is not the completion number for me. It is the card of unpacking. It's about seeing, um, sorry, I, I'm getting a message right now, like in, intuitively within me. Wow, okay, I'll talk to, to you guys about it in a minute. But it's about seeing what you have been holding on to, the burdens, the baggage that you've been holding on to, and your, all of your experiences, the value of that, and decoding it, which is so crazy because before I can even move forward, spirit is really calling me to focus on wounded child, these ba these battles, these things. I just heard the word garbage. It's sludge and garbage. That's a specific word, sludge. It's sludge and garbage that you have been locked up, that has been locked up within you, that you have been, I just heard the word shameful of, you feel guilt of, things that you have become a victim of, things that were outside of your control, but you have taken them personally and they have de defined and shaped your experience and your perspective on the world. And they have been toxic and in, in, impeding you is the word that's coming through. And spirit is trying to tell you, you know, 2020 was the year of you understanding and reclaiming your innocence. Wow, that's entirely sure why that video just paused, but I'm gonna carry on because I really want this message to get forward through you. But as I was saying before I was interrupted by my camera failing, um, Spirit wants you to reclaim your innocence and um, Spirit is redefining, you know, and almost having you to, is was almost pausing you pausing life in order to give you the opportunity to relive, to relive certain experiences that you have not, you're number one, you are afraid to even relive it and to re-see it because it's so hurtful and painful for you. But spirit says, you know, we want to hold you and make sure that you are safe. And we want to make sure that you, a person like you with so much to offer to this world so much that you will offer to this world that you feel stable and secure and safe in doing that. And part of you guys, you're not, I, I don't see you taking what happened to you and sharing it with everyone. Um, but it is a defining moment. Some of you guys will, but like you'll go to places where other people have gone through what you have gone through and you help to heal them. But some of you guys, your purpose is not to share that with the world or share that with others, not in shame or anything like that, but that's just not what your purpose is here on earth. But spirit says that it will help you to fully live your purpose because there's aspects within yourself that you have been uncomfortable with, that you sit with and they, they're things that you hear, things that you dream about or have nightmares about or that you wonder about or you avoid and spirit that creates internal conflict is what I'm just hearing. So spirit is giving you the opportunity to pause and to stop running from the areas of your life where your innocence was taken away from you. And they 
are saying that even in the, like, do you see how this guy's hands are here, but this little mouth shows up regardless? So he has a lock. He could be in prison. He could have this lock up, you know, in jail, but still this mouse finds a way in. So that's what I'm seeing for you is that there are certain aspects within yourself that haunt you, that find their way in and spirit is looking to put its hands on that and to heal it, to remove it and to help. I don't know why I keep hearing decode. So I'm feeling like you're going to hear the, the decode, like how to decode um, what has happened so you can better understand it and move past it. And there's a really strong sense right now of you knowing that you are safe, that you are protected. That, and that's something that I feel like was taken from you. False person. We have unexpected income and in your thoughts. Do you see how he's kind of lost in his thoughts there? What, it's like what he's creating. Wow. So this is a message, you guys. Some of you guys in your career, in your life, in your intention, you don't realize that you, this memory of what happened or this memory or this thing, and it doesn't have to be from childhood. It could be a relationship, like someone cheating on you or some feeling of something being taken from you when you were innocent, when you didn't deserve it. It's that energy of it's not fair. And you're right, it's not. But when you are trying to create, when you're trying to live your life, you don't realize that you're co-creating that experience or you are shaping your intention around avoiding that thing from happening again. And spirit is saying, can you see how that is limiting? Can you see how it's still, even though it happened in that moment, that I don't know why I just heard three to six months, but a three to six mo month situation is now calling the shots on the rest of your life. And no matter what you try to do, it keeps coming in. The memory of it keeps coming in or the thought or things that remind you of it keep coming in and you see it and you run instead of being empowered. So unexpected income and false person, to me, unexpected income is, I don't know why I'm not looking at the money, I'm looking at the house behind that's kind of blurred out. And this shows me, to me, it's bringing me back to secrets. It's bringing me back to things that, you know, you don't like to talk about, things that you put in the past, you think you're putting them in the past, especially with false person. It's almost like spirit wants you to be a bit more authentic and also wants you to stop choosing false people and false situations, false circumstances that are not a representation or not integrity with, or in alignment with you and your integrity. And that's no read. That's not a read. It's your unconscious. There's this element of the unconscious mind, especially with the false person. It's your unconscious mind that is prevailing right now. And if we don't heal the unconscious aspect of the mind, the things that we think are locked from us, we will continue to paint pictures and project our perspective onto the world, like prospect our, project our internal conflict and garbage onto the world and continue to recreate those moments again and again. It's the unconscious. The thing that's standing out to me is um, Salvador Dali. Um, I don't know if you ever, ever heard of him, but he's a famous artist and he would create, I think he had um, trauma in his life and in his art. So do you see how he's creating art here? It's his thoughts. It's what he's thinking, what he dreams about. He puts it into his art and these symbols. And symbols, and I teach this in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, symbols have ripe meaning. We see it in the occult. We see it in conspiracy. We see it in all everywhere in our world. The power of symbols and what one symbol, what it represents and how deep that thing can go. And I, that's also what works with our intuition, the sub, like our, our, our intuitive gifts, that one symbol, especially for me, I see one symbol and I could talk about it for three hours or a whole day after seeing one thing. Like a person picks a pumpkin and in my dream or in another person's dream, it's like, okay, this person just picked a pumpkin. But then when I start speaking about it, the symbol of that person picking a pumpkin goes so deep and so long and is so prophetic and so profound. That's what is I'm seeing within this card, with the thoughts card, is that your subconscious has these images that you may be projecting into your world. 
that you are co-creating, that you are painting, that you are manifesting, that is materializing, especially with unexpected income. It's, it would shock you how much your subconscious is painting your reality and painting your experiences and causing you to, what you feel like you're escaping something or you're you know, avoiding disaster, what you're really doing is reliving a past trauma by trying to avoid it from happening when in reality, the two things that you're seeing do not connect but you're subconsciously believe it. Page of Swords, this is the card of curiosity and the spy, but in reality, it's the card of discovering the unknown by asking a question, a provoking question, why? And this sword, and I teach that in the Sacred Circle for those of you guys that don't know, Sacred Circle Tarot School, the links for that will be down below. But this sword is wisdom. This sword is intellect. It represents those things. It represents willpower. It represents the truth. And this sword has fallen to the bottom of the ocean, sitting under the subconscious for years, waves and time passes, and we'll never know the truth until we ask the question, why? Why? What happened to make this sword lay here? Let me find it. Let me discover it. Let me bring it up to the surface and figure out why the history of this and heal it so that my mind can change. Some of you guys, six of swords, literally two of swords. So you're moving forward from these mental blockages, these mental, this mental resistance that you've had, that you are finally in 2020, you have observe it, you see it, and you are ready to move forward. Four of Pentacles is here showing the stubbornness of the situation that says you are not moving anywhere. You are not going anywhere until you heal, until you see. Um, another thing that's coming through with the Four of Pentacles is I teach this, the energy of number four is energy that is locked in, but in it, while you're locked in it, you're getting rubbed, you're getting challenged. So I'm seeing this space that some of you guys have been challenged a lot. And some of it has felt forceful to you or you have been forceful to it. You have been forcing your will or for very aggressive, very domineering, very in your face. What? Say it, you won't. It's very fighting, it's very, <clears throat> or it's very passive. So there's two different things, especially what I'm seeing with two of swords here and two of wands. I can't tell because again, this is a very specific message for a general audience. But there's these two energies, these two conflicting energies that are battling within you that you are battling out into the world. So you may have two personas. When you are yourself, your higher self, you are open, you are receptive, you are strong, you are powerful. But when the subconscious side gets triggered and you are triggered, you come forward with passive fallback. I can't, I'm powerless, you do it, you do it. I don't have any control. And then the other side of you is, I will beat you up. <laughs> it's that It's that assertive, it's that domineering. And either way, it's not working. So 2020 was about coming back into yourself and learning how to foster through this challenge, through this friction, in order to be still, to see why this is happening and to move past it, to grow past it. Let me know by dropping a heart down in the comments if this message is resonating with you. Wow, take time for yourself. So this space is very gentle. As you are going into the subconscious mind, as you're going into the aspects of yourself that have been imprisoned, that have been locked off, that have been getting drained, to be honest with you. It's meant to be gentle. Laughter, so joy, again, happiness, innocence. Remember how I said that in the very beginning? Innocence, play becomes yours again. It's very healing. World energy. As the world is fixing itself, healing itself, and locked in its own battle, you are also a representation of that because you're, all, you're also under you know, the same energies. It says the earth is going through a transition, six of swords, a transition of energy in your sensitive body, the child, the innocent side within yourself is feeling it. You are not alone, accept the help of others. Why soul? So there's wisdom within yourself that gets triggered. Your soul gets triggered by what makes you wise is your experiences. It's not book knowledge. It's your experiences in this life and past lives that when that happens, you might get triggered, but also in your wisdom, you learn lessons to how to heal yourself and also how to heal the world. Remember how I said that there's aspects within yourself that, you know, you're going to be sharing your light with others. You may share your trauma with others and that may be a part of your healing, 
but it doesn't have to be. But it's your, you don't want to be locked up. Look, you don't need to worry. There's certain things within yourself that you've really been, that have been bothering you. That spirit is trying to take it away from you. Pucker up buttercup. I don't know why, but this kind of feels like a triggering point. This feels like, as I'm reading it, it feels like things that were expected of you or things that were kind of forced on you that it's like you are now in a position of empowerment where you say, I don't want to pucker up actually. I don't, that's not fair for me. That's not what I want. I don't want to be a part of this person's energy. I don't want to be here. I don't feel comfortable. You don't get to tell me what to do. And you're taking your power back. You're taking your strength back. Not in a way that you need to fight or physically push them off or anything like that. Hopefully not. But in a way that is clear, precise, and you can say, say, speak up when you're uncomfortable and say what it is that you want and actually gain your strength and your power back. Okay, it's not only about being right. And this is a very powerful message because some of you were taught that you have to do the right thing, but the right thing has been a violation to your energy. And that is not right. That is not okay. Some of you guys are like, okay, well, it's fair. I should show up in this way, or I do have to do this. No, you don't. And if you see from the root of this, and if you see the subconscious, you will stop allowing um, yourself. Look, oh my God, at the base of your thing, it's honor yourself. It's about show it, sharing light on the aspects within yourself that say, I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to be available to you. I don't need you to have access to me. I'm actually not comfortable here. I want more for myself. I don't want this. I actually want a simple life or I don't want to follow in your footsteps. Whatever the, whatever the dialogue is. Wow, pay attention to the red flags. Do you see how you have false person here in imprisonment? So there are aspects within yourself that spirit is calling you to pay attention to, calling you to see because it doesn't want that for you. And the subconscious, the subconscious is really speaking. The subconscious is speaking and the subconscious is healing. Look, trust. This is bringing me back to the feeling of fear and feeling unsafe and feeling a lack of security and stability within your life and your experiences and spirit is calling you to to move past that to heal it but really heal it not say oh i'm healed from it like you know this could be the one so you are connecting i'm seeing you connecting back to the one thing or the soul things it's very simplistic when i i meant i meant it when i said the simple life some of you guys are really going back to a simple life and purging, saying like, I don't need all of these things to make me feel safe. I don't, some of you guys don't even realize that because of this feeling of lack within your childhood or lack within your experiences or within your relationship, your society, your relationships, your parents, your mother, your father, they taught you that in order to be valuable, you have to be an achiever. You have to make all A's. You have to have a Louis Vuitton purse. You have to be a doctor, all these things. And honestly, it's been a violation to your innocence because that's not what you wanted to do. That didn't feel good to you. What you would have to do in order to maintain this falseness was a violation to your energy, to your spirit. It's not fair. So you are really simpl simplifying your life in order to come back. And in the process, you are forgiving those who did not know any better, forgiving those who have violated you, forgiving those who have done you disservice. And you are learning and adding it onto your repertoire of lessons that you are going to use to share with others while also simultaneously honoring yourself. I hope that this message makes sense, my loves. I'm giving you big, big blessings in 2021. Um, I will be, you know, finishing my astrology intuitive, um, comprehensive guide to 2021 very shortly, very soon. It'll be on my website. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, that you're following me on Instagram because you'll get updates for that. And you can sign up for the newsletter because I'll be sending updates on that. If you want this, um, these guides that it's a downloadable book to help you to prep and plan for all of 2021. So you won't feel lost in the sauce. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Until then, I'm sending you guys all of my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay. Bye, my loves. For those of you chose <clears throat> the light mantra crystal, <clears throat> 
My voice is kind of um, going out a little bit, but it is what it is. This is your message, what spirit wants you to hear as you close out 2020 and move into 2021. Messages for your heart to give you clarity and understanding. I don't know why, I just heard the word, um, uh, what is it? Do something, in order to get something you've never had before, do something different. But there, the energy of the word different is being highlighted here. I'm also hearing the word succumb, feeling like you've kind of su succumbed to rel relentless pressure to achieve, to perform. This pile is the tired pile. Wow. The t uh, it's not so that much that it's tired. It's because the energy feels very inspired. It feels very powerful. It feels very significant, meaning that it makes what, I don't know why, but this pile, when you do something, it impacts literally everyone. So this could be someone who is in public eye or has a lot of responsibilities or, you know, or if they're not, they feel it. They're, I don't know, like on the precipice of it, like the beginning of it. So it feels like a lot of weight, a lot of burden, a lot of expectation. I'm also seeing I don't know why, but I'm seeing someone in jail or connected to the energy of being in jail and they're waiting. Actually, now I think about it, you have the courthouse, courthouse card here. But it's like everything, it feels very like everything is adding up to this one moment. It's very, a lot of pressure is coming through here. Either you put the pressure on yourself or the world's putting the pressure on you. Either way, spirit is calling, is saying, put it in its place. Meaning, prioritize what is truly important. And what you think is important is not actually what's important. It's what spirit says is important for you. And spirit is saying love, compassion, peace, giving gifts, keeping your mind opened. Keeping your mind open and gratitude perspective is everything. So, wow. <laughs> this pile. Can you give me clarity, spirit? Because, holy heck. I'm getting, I'm hearing it's not just one area of your life, it's all the areas. All of it feels heavy, all of it feels tight. Um, and I'm hearing like concern. You're concerned with all of it. Toil and labor. We have the coffin card here. We have the lovers. We have courthouse, which brings me back to the jail thing. Not that you're actually in jail. It's, a, it's an actual metaphor. We have wealthy man. We have sudden wealth. Wow. We have pathway and we have journey. And then last one, we have false person. So right away, 2020 was the year of real enlightenment for you. Um, some of you guys are going to hear this message and you are going, no offense, you're going to be like, oh, this has to do with this area of my life. And I didn't do this and I need to do this and I need to do this. Spirit is saying, listen, that's that's literally the problem. We, we want just to tell you that this is the problem. You have lived, you have learned, it's been a part of your process, it's been a part of your journey. Without those things, and I'm really getting called to the number 777 here, spirit is real, without those things and without those moments, that mindset that is that you have, it, if without that, it wouldn't get you to where you're at, for good and for bad. So I'm real, I don't know why, but I'm seeing how your work, your motivation, your ambition, your drive, your hustle, whatever it is, your, your determined, like all of this, like, mm, like, and all of these multiple things, they are very powerful. They serve their purpose, but spirit and spirit is not knocking you for that, but it's saying there's what you have prioritized in 2020. You're learning to reprioritize. You're learning to refocus. You're learning to come back. 
to the divine to come back to a higher vibration. Spirit is not beating you up for the decisions that you've made, the things that you have sacrificed, the your performance. I don't know why that's coming through, but your performance. Spirit is not beating you up for your performance. What you've done, what you didn't do, who you've picked up along the way, who you love, left along the way, who you loved, who you lost. There's all of it served its purpose by all means, but at the same time, put it down. I'm hearing, put it down. I heard back breaking. Um, you're breaking your own back. You're hurting yourself. And no matter where you're at, no matter how high your reward, your blessing, your gift, your accomplishment, your achievement, no matter how low the loss, because I'm getting a lot of both of those for you, for this pile. It doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't. Because it comes back, Spirit is saying that you have to come back to the true purpose, the true meaning, which is prioritizing your peace, prioritizing your heart, your health, your gratitude. Your perspective now needs to shift back into a space of gratitude. I'm seeing those that you have, this is a pile that is hits rock bottom and is at the very top. And meanwhile, you just move through it. You move through it like a machine regardless. This is a very determined pile. This is a pile that has a very distinct, defined purpose. And Spirit says, yeah, we gave you that. We, you honor, you're honoring that, but at the same time, we need you to hold on to gratitude. Hold on. Your clarity should come from a divine lens. Spirit, a divine, a divine lens. Like, wow, the devil card. So there's really something here that's kind of gripping you and holding you, especially because I was getting the imprisonment. So the devil card is here again, and the three of wands. So three of wands is regardless of the mind, regardless of... Because that's the thing too, this pile, even your success can feel kind of imprisoning. Even your joy, your blessing seems imprisoning or your suffering seems imprisoning. But spirit is saying, no matter how it seems, you cannot lose sight of no matter where you're at, gratitude, no matter where you're at, you're blessed, no matter where you're at, prioritize health, no matter where you're at, peace is everything. No matter how high, no matter how low, come back to center. There, 2020 was about listening and prioritizing your spiritual connection to the divine and developing your relationship with the, the, the divine. How you hear spirit's message and voice in your ear and in your heart and in your soul and your spirit. Um, we have the death card here and we also have the sun card. So there's so many cards here that are literally showcasing these extremes of dark night of the soul and then a light. The energy of enlightenment, the energy of, I don't know why, but fruition. And fruition is not defined by your success or your failure. It's defined by your peace, your health, your happiness, your joy, and your feeling of bliss because you are so solidified in your connection to spirit your connection to the abundance of the universe that regardless of the highs and the lows you are you're filled you're abundant you are supported spirit says that no matter those highs and lows lows. wow that card really wanted to jump out look you guys did i not say this this is the the pile this is the, the pile the people who chose this pile the card of light or the crystal of light these are those who are really on a big big journey you know, defined, distinguished, defined is what Spirit is telling me. Purpose, work, goals, and it's not just one area of your life. Some people, that's like, oh, all career, all relationships, all health. All, for you, it's all of the above. And Spirit says, regardless of that, we need you to come back to the core center. What is truly, it's almost like, what's the real meaning of Christmas? <laughs> Like, at the time of me filming this, Christmas was just a few days ago. But what is the real meaning of Christmas? It's about generosity. It's about family. It's about being with the people that you love and being there warm with each other. It's not about the mansion, the Christmas tree, the decorations, the gifts, the food, the snow. It's about we are loved. I love you. 
you are important to me. I want to be with you. I am peaceful. I am grateful. Regardless of what it looks like, whether we get it right, whether we perfect it, or whether it's a fail, it doesn't matter. So you are born with that it quality. This is showing me that regardless of the highs and the sun and the light and the good that you deem good, you are still this thing. You are still loved. You are still supported. This should be your priority, whatever this is, this seed. No matter how low, no matter how dark, no matter how dank, no matter how um, unstable, no matter how awful it may seem, you are still this thing. You are still love. You are still being held. And if you were connected to the energy of 777, the energy of the divine, you would never question or doubt that. In fact, you would actually understand where real wealth, real abundance, real blessing actually comes from and what it feels like. Not in things, not in achievements, not in awards, not in your accomplishments or your failures, but gratitude, perspective, love, and light. I just feel really called to shuffle from this. Oh, see, that one wanted to jump out. Look, six of pentacles. I don't know why, but I'm seeing you needing to give back, meaning energy, well, I know why, because Six of Pentacles is really about giving back, but I'm hearing the words giving back. It's about going to food shelters, going to p places of lack. In fact, you maybe have experienced that energy before, a feeling of lack and being there for others or others being there for you and providing for you. Um, it's almost like revisiting that and remembering, you know, there are people laughing and having joy and humor and play in spaces where it's like, you know, you are in an abusive situation. You ran away from an abusive household. How are you laughing right now? And it's like, because that doesn't define me. That didn't take away my joy. That didn't take away my ability to love or to be seen. And there are people who are in mansions who are on private islands and have can are eating lobster and steak or whatever they're eating, coconuts with fresh papaya, I don't know, who are devoid of joy and happiness while they're sitting in the sun. And spirit is saying, what is truly important and valuable to your happiness, your health, your vitality, and your well-being? That is what you needed to experience in 2020. That none of it good or bad is truly what is important. It may be important to you, but 2020 was about perspective shift. It was about coming and meeting people, crossing paths with people who have, who have it, what you don't have, not the accomplishments, not the happily, you know, whatever, you know, a relationship. It's about this, you know, whatever the core meaning of Christmas, everyone's different, but for me, it's gratitude, it's love, it's being, you know, the feeling of family, and you're crossing, a, you're crossing paths with people who have it, and being, observing it and saying, well, damn, like, no matter, I can't, me working hard isn't going to give me true love, me traveling is not going to, it serves its purpose, but only for so long, and also, Spirit is saying with this Page of Pentacle card that if it's not something, in 2020, you're going to hyper-focus and see what you feel like you don't have, you know what I mean? Um, and stop pursuing these things to try to fill that void within you. But Spirit says that you need to see and know that your future is bright. If it wasn't for 2020, which means that those core things are in your future, your near future. In 2021, that could be the year of all of it coming together. But you're meant to see not just the dark, because this pile has seen the dark and the light. Literally, as I'm looking at this, this crystal is both of those things. A, 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 um, a creamier color of caramel and then a creamier color of cream. So it's these two differences. So this pile has really seen the, the good and the bad. It's experienced the highs and the lows. 
And Spirit says, regardless of what that looks like, you've been there, you've done that. Now you know what is truly important to you. Some of you guys have felt imprisoned in it, and I never saw this before, but she has this little mink, minx, is that what it's called? A little mink thing over her shoulder saying, you know, I'm with you, regardless of how fearful you are. And it feels, even though she has this little guide with her, this little animal guide, she feels very alone. He or she feels very alone. So Spirit is saying that, you know, take where you're at right now and who is with you right now and what makes you happy and what makes you feel loved, but also realize that there is more on the way because if it wasn't for 2020, you would have continued to pursue things that you were calling important, but Spirit is like, that is not important to you. No matter it, when will it be enough? When will it not be enough? Like there, there could always be more to be gained. There's always could be more to be lost. But there are certain things that are yours that cannot be taken from you. And in 2020, especially with the coffin card, nothing can be taken. These things cannot be taken from you. Look at this: King of Wands and Page of Pentacles. So this energy of protection, abundance but not material abundance. Some of you guys keep wanting to lock in on that and be like, well, Jess, can you talk about, no, I cannot actually. No, I cannot. Your priorities need to be realigned. And if you haven't learned that, you're meant to hear this message. If you haven't learned that by now, so yeehaw is literally, okay, now, now you know, now you know that money doesn't buy happiness. Money can't protect your health. It can contribute to your health. It can, by your decisions, you can make healthier decisions because you have the abundance and the blessing in order to provide for yourself. But money can't buy love. And that's the thing too, my loves, is that you have the lover's card here. This is the person or the things that are intimately yours that choose you because you being who you are is beautiful. Call that in. And that's where you are going to always have that around you. Regardless of what life looks like, you're gonna do it together. Your own, your fear is that you have to do these things, be these things in order to receive these things. And Spirit says that in 2020, you learned that no matter how high or no matter how low, there are gonna be certain things that are just solely yours. If you don't have that, it's literally, you're on the brink of it. 2020 is the year of going to the courthouse, cementing them and sign sealed delivered. You're being watched by loving eyes. So Spirit is really, trying to protect you, but I'm also seeing that you're very, very loved. But I also am seeing a sense of resistance because you have been prioritizing other things. Convince yourself, not others. This is about 2020 was the year of you realizing, you know, these things, my success, my failure, my accomplishment, my reward, my whatever it is, does not define me. I've been pursuing them. Yeah, this is about self-worth, self-healing, self-value, how you contribute. If I'm not contributing this, do I still have the same value? And spirit, people, spirit is trying to tell you that there are situations and things within your life that are like, I didn't come here to do, get this from you. I came here because I love your company, because I love your voice, because I feel good when I'm around you, not by what you're giving to me or what you're doing for me. Financial healing is here, you are healed is here, and chakra clearing. So 2020 was a year of kind of clearing that out. Each one of these stages and the chakras needed to be addressed because it was a whole body thing. Remember how I said, it wasn't just one area of your life, it's multiple areas of your life. That the sh each chakra was kind of in an imbalance with that needed to be healed. And as you healed that chakra, you would heal that area of your life and all the pieces of the puzzle would not only be complete, but come back to the same source. Yep, release all anger. Anger is really hurt. Anger is really suffering. Anger is really sadness, disappointment, things that we get angry about because we are protecting them, we are raging on behalf of them because you know that that's not what you want for yourself. With the lover's card here, I do wanna shuffle with the romance angels and see what's up for you. Okay, retreat, love yourself first and reconciliation. 
I feel like there's one more card here. Some of you guys are feeling like you're too this, too much that, or because you have so much on your plate, you can't, or because you don't have enough on your plate, then you can't. You know what I mean? This, See, this is that let your friends help you card, that six of pentacles I was showing up earlier, which is like let other people be, oh my God, so you guys really need to hear this, to be optimistic, to believe in the blessing, the beauty, um, and the fulfillment of your hopes and your wishes. Some of you guys have really been so stuck on, I have to do this in order for true love to come in or in order for me to be happy. And spirit is like, it's a wish. And a wish gets fulfilled because it's just your time. Some of you guys are really, with the dark and the light, you know, the highs and the lows, you feel like, you know, it really, you're just so accustomed to things being so bad or you've been there, done that. So you're, you'll do everything in your power to make sure that you don't have to take a step back or that you don't experience that feeling anymore. And spirit is saying like, set intention for this, these things, these core values. And some of you guys are actually entering into engagement. I, I saw this and I really feel like there is engagement in the cards, especially with the page of pentacles here. This, many people don't talk about this or they don't know, um, but it's very much the card of engagement for me. Yes, look, Empress. Empress, we have King of Pentacles. He sees the value, Ten of Cups, happily ever after with the family and the home and the hearth and the sense of community and belonging and Queen of Swords. So some of you guys really have been defensive and I just am getting a sense of deja vu and I just smelt something specific. It's the scent of someone that is that you love or someone that you truly care about. Call those things in. One last card for this pile. 2021 what's the blessing in 2021 for them maybe i should do a wow hidden gift rainbow and protection cedar what is what is yours is being protected cedar is a very wise wood very very wise wood and hidden get gift is literally the blessing that's hidden regardless it's you never really see it and then in the storm when it's raging hurricane tornado whatever literally worst case scenario and you guys have seen it the rains pass, the sun come out, comes, comes out again. Both of those things created the blessing. And that's what's happening here is that your, your true love, whatever that is, it's not necessarily has to be love, but your true happiness, your true gift is in the near future, in 2021. It is protected for you, it is there for you. You feel it, you know it, you can sense. Look, the heart, this is the card of heart. This is the card of community, support, networking, being around people that you love and that you care about. The book is there's more to it. The key is the opening of it and the clover is the change of luck. It's reversed, but that doesn't make, make a difference within the Lenormand. All you gotta do is have the faith to know exactly what it is. Well, the clarity to know exactly what it is that it will truly make you happy the intention to set it forward, to put it out there, and the ability to receive it and know that this is actually what is important to you. This is valuable to you. Not all these external things, not all of these really fake ass relationships, no offense, but this. I hope that this makes sense, you guys. If it does, leave a heart down in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And if you are interested and if you want more predictions like this that are more thorough for 2021, make sure that you look out for my ebook, which I will be done. Um, it looks like January, early, first week of January, 2021. I have smoke or um, dust all over my sleeve right now. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to what I was, I was saying. I'm sending you all my love and I hope that you're well. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.